Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to work out our whole body with this 15 minute beginner full body workout. You don't need any equipment for this workout. You just need a little bit of room to move around in. Some of the exercises are going to be on the floor. So if you do have an exercise mat, grab that. Otherwise the carpet would work or a towel would be fine as well. We are going to go through 15 different exercises and we're going to perform each for 45 seconds on and take 15 seconds rest in between them. But don't worry about those details. I'm going to be right here doing all the exercises with you and giving you motivation and pointers along the way. So just make sure you have that screen so where it's easy to see and let's get to it right now. Put some pictures on the gram so other people know that we're more than friends. Okay, up first we are going to do a curtsy lunge with a pull down with our arms. So it's going to be a curtsy lunge and we're taking those arms down and we're engaging all those back muscles. Then we're coming to the center, then to the other leg. Okay, let's get that body moving. Let's feel strong. Take it nice and slow and controlled and focus on all the muscles that you're engaging throughout this motion. Feel strong in those legs, feel strong in those arms. Make sure your back muscles are all engaged. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure you're having fun. Keep that smile on your face. Okay. Take it nice and slow and controlled. And think about in all those muscles and good form. Woo! Awesome job. Okay, now we're gonna come down onto our arms and we're gonna be in a push-up position on our knee. Wrists are directly under the shoulders. We are going down for a push-up. Then we're coming out into a high plank and we're tapping it out and out. Okay. Feel good, feel strong. Just do what you can. Really think about pushing up equally throughout those palms, so no lopsided push-ups. If you can only just hold it here, hold it here, and then focus on this part. When we're doing the push-up, it needs to be equal. Nice and strong through both arms. Okay, just take it nice and slow and controlled. Feel strong and think about your form. Make sure you're not forgetting to breathe. Woo! Okay, let's get back up onto those feet. Now we're gonna do a narrow squat with a side leg lift and a front leg lift. So our legs are gonna be hip width apart. We're gonna stick that booty back, then we're gonna lift it to the side and to the front. Down, side, front. Okay, think about turning on those, all those abdominal muscles for your balance here, okay? And feel strong in those leg lifts. Really, think about your form and feeling good. If you're wobbling around, reset, turn on the core, find somewhere to look before you lift those legs. Focus on your form. Keep breathing. Get down nice and low in those squats. Stick that, woo, stick that booty back. Okay, you're doing great. Next up, we're going back down to the mat. We're gonna be on our backs, and we're really gonna think about engaging our core here. We are gonna do something called a yogi sit up. So hands behind our head. We're gonna have our feet here, and then we're gonna come up. Exhale as we bring our elbows to our knees, and down. So really think about your back being flat on the floor throughout the whole motion. If you're finding your back coming up to the ground and you're unable to take those feet down without that happening, just keep those legs up here and then just crunch it up and up. Exhale as you crunch those abs. Nice and slow and controlled. Woo! Okay, we're gonna stay here for another exercise. So we're gonna do a butt lift with a heel raise. So, hands by your side. We're taking that butt up, 
Then we're taking those feet up to tippy toes, down and down. Okay, so we're really thinking about thrusting those hips up, squeezing that booty, and then coming up nice and high on those tippy toes before we come back down. Okay, keep that movement going. Think about the muscles that you're using throughout the motion. Keep breathing, keep smiling. Really squeeze that butt. I want your butt to be as tight as it possibly can. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. The whole time, squeeze, 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 and then release. Squeeze, up, down, release. You're doing great. Stay with me. Woo, okay. We're getting back up on those feet. Next, we are gonna do a side lunge. And then we're gonna come to the middle and do one, two, three, walk, side lunge. Okay, so nice strong walk. Out to the strong lunge. Really get low in those legs. Arms can do whatever you want them to do. And then out to the side. Okay, let's keep that body moving. Let's feel good. Make sure when you're doing that march, you're using your arms, okay? We're using the full body today. Feel good. Feel strong. It doesn't have to be fast. I want you to think about your form. I'm feeling good today. Awesome job. Okay, next we're gonna work on these side obliques. So we're gonna come down. We're gonna have that bottom leg bent, top leg straight or bent, whatever feels best for you. We're on our arms like this and we're going up and up. Okay, so our shoulder is right above our elbow. And we're really lifting from these side obliques here. We're working on that tiny waist. Okay, so we're here on this side for 22 seconds. So we've got a couple more here. I want you to really think about pulling it up on there. Okay, now we're gonna change. So we're gonna flip over and do the same on the other side. Okay, make sure your shoulder is right underneath that elbow. And we're lifting from here. So we're really thinking about this muscle. Mind to muscle, really lift from your waist here. Okay, back up to those feet. Now we are gonna do a reverse lunge and we're gonna punch those arms up above our head when we do this. So we're gonna go out and out. Okay, so we're alternating legs here, okay? So we're really thinking about taking that foot back nice and far. Hip above that knee, knee behind those toes. Arms up and in. Out and in. Feel strong. Feel balanced. Feel strong in those arms. No floppy arms either. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure you're getting nice and low. You're doing good. You should be feeling nice and warm by now. Let's keep it going. Let's stay strong. You're amazing. You're so good. Okay, let's keep that body warm, shake it out a little bit. Okay, hands in front. We're gonna do some punches with a side tap. So we're gonna go punch, 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 and punch. And as we punch, we're taking that same leg out to the side like this. So we're twisting our center here, our trunk, and we're punching strong with those arms. Okay, feel good. Really punch with intention. If you feel warm and you want to take it up a little bit, you can increase that speed. Okay. But just do what feels good. I want you to feel strong and good throughout this workout. Feel good. Full body workout. Oh yes. And of course, we've got to have fun. Awesome work. Okay, Nick, we're going to get into a nice low squat and we're going to stay down here. So we're going to stick that booty back as far as you can. 
and we're gonna sidewalk it and we're gonna do some bicep curls as we do it okay so just walk as many each direction as you have room for so if you only have room for one just go side to side if you have room for two or three do that most importantly you're staying low you are low your legs are going to be on fire we're in this together though and we're thinking strong strong biceps really engage those arm muscles as you crunch those up for that bicep curl stay low Get a little lower. Let's get a little lower. You're doing awesome. Awesome job. Okay, next we're coming down into a bear crawl position. So, hands, wrists, run right underneath their shoulders. You're going to hover those knees. And we are going to go out, out, in, in. Okay, so. We're thinking about our core. Our abs are engaged. We're thinking about keeping that butt in the same position. It's not moving. The only thing that's moving are those legs. You're pushing up strong in those arms. Okay, so if you're finding this challenging, it's okay to just hold a high plank, hold a bear crawl, or just focus on your core here, okay? Just feel strong. If you have to at any time, come down and rest on those knees, totally fine. But try to keep that movement going. Nice and slow and controlled. Woo! Okay. Now we're gonna do some super bands. So we're gonna come down onto our stomach. Our hands are gonna reach out in front of us. And we're gonna lift that chest as we pull those arms back and engage all those back muscles. Lift that chest up. Squeeze and then bring them forward. Really exhale as you engage all those back muscles and really lift up and back. Just nice and slow, controlled, focusing on all those back muscles. Keep it going, keep the movement going. I know it's gonna burn. You're doing awesome, just a couple more. Okay, let's get back up onto our feet. We're almost there guys, you're doing amazing. Stick it with me, only a few more exercises to go. So now we're gonna take a side skip into a squat, touch the ground, middle, side, middle, side, okay. So we're getting down nice and low, because we're getting the hand down there. But we're keeping that chest up high, and then we're coming to the middle, and the other side. Get low, stick that booty back. Okay, you're doing awesome. Stay with me, we've already got a couple more exercises to go. Get low, keep it moving. Make sure you're touching that ground if you can. Keep that chest up. Keep smiling. Awesome job. Okay, now we are gonna hold a sumo squat. So we're taking our feet out wider than our hips, about shoulder width apart. We're gonna sit down into that squat, bring those arms in front of us, and we're gonna punch forward, and we're gonna hold this squat. Okay, it's going to burn. But you make sure you push through that burn. When it starts to burn, hold it for another five to 10 seconds, and then you can come up, keep those arms punching, and then get right back down into that squat. But if you can hold it through, you hold it with me. You stay there, and keep those arms strong. Really feel strong with those punches, okay? Don't think about your legs. Just think about the punches. You're doing awesome. Dig it in. Only a few more seconds to go, and then we have one more exercise. Woo! Stay with me. You're awesome, okay. Give those legs a shake. Final exercise, it is a standing row. We are rowing to the finish line. So, 
We're bringing our knee up to our chest and we're gonna roll. And we're gonna roll and roll. Okay, so we're doing this with power. We wanna win that race. Exhale as you pull those arms by your legs. Make sure you feel like you're getting the most out of each stroke. If you wanna pick up the pace a little bit, pick it up. How badly do you want this race? Let's go. Let's go, guys. Only 15 more seconds to go. You can do it. Come on. Let's stay strong to the end. Make sure you're breathing. Stay with me. Woo! There you go. Did you win the race? Of course you did. You are amazing. I'm so proud of you. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you're hitting that big subscribe button and turning on those notifications so you don't miss out on our new video. I want to see you back here again very, very, very soon. You guys are amazing. You should feel so good. That was a full body workout. You should feel nice and warm. If this is the final workout that you are doing today, make sure to do a cool down and stretch. There is a link to a 10 minute one in the description of this video. Otherwise, if you want to do some more, check out my YouTube channel and do some other workouts. There's lots of variety, lots of different durations as well. Also, if you have any questions or concerns, please do let me know in the comments below. I am here from you and I would love to hear from you as well. Otherwise, until next time, stay safe, stay well. Day by day, as time goes by, it's the prize we pay.